When it comes to non-playable characters in Street Fighter V, I've talked about Peter, I've talked about 2P, I've talked about the 8 unique dolls in the game, and now we're going to finish it out and talk about the 7 Shadowloo Soldiers. In terms of a moveset, the soldiers work a bit differently than the dolls. The dolls were kind of a copy-paste of Season 1 Kami. But, then they had their own special moves and command normals applied on top of that to make them unique. How this works for the soldiers is that you have one pretty generic base moveset that's shared across all of them. However, they have sort of a rank system, and the higher up the rank you go, the more complex that gets. Higher ranking soldiers tend to have something like a target combo, or significantly more specials. Three of the four soldiers also have golden EX versions that have extra properties such as more health, more special moves, and most notably, significantly more frame advantage on their normals. What I'm gonna do is talk about the four base soldiers in order of rank, and then talk about the three EX soldiers. They're honestly more similar to each other than the original versions of the character, so I think that kind of makes sense. The first of the soldiers I'm going to talk about is ASY, and he's one of the two low-ranking ones. It's genuinely hard to say if he's better or worse than Peter, which should say a lot. For a start, he does have 25 more health, so 425. I would probably say that ASY has better normals than Peter, although it's not by much. For a start, he's got much more plus on block normals, three of his lights, and crouching medium punch and crouching heavy punch. It's not a huge deal, because he's still not very good at pressure considering his fastest normal, like Peter, is frame 5, but it's something. One interesting normal he has is his sweep. It's at worst minus 4 on block, and if you space it, it can actually be up to plus 2. Doesn't make it a good move, because, you know, you can't really capitalize on that plus two very well, and on top of that, it's incredibly slow. But it's kind of interesting at least. Just like Peter, he has no consistent anti-air. Your best options are probably standing medium punch and standing light kick. These can still trade, which is very bad for a character with low health. Just like with Peter, your best option is trying to meet them in the air. This is unreliable in its own ways, but it can work. One thing all the soldiers have over Peter is a significantly better dash. They all have 16 frame forward dashes. Peter had a god-awful 26 frame forward dash, which was the slowest in the game. Something you might have just caught is that ASY's forward throw did a pretty miserable 80 damage. This is actually one of the character's main weaknesses. They have very low damage. All of their grounded lights do 10 damage, medium's 30, and heavy's 50. It's pretty miserable. Despite his pretty pitiful ground normals, his jump-ins do regular damage, and his one special move, Tackle, does decent damage, so your combos generally are around the same strength as Peter's. Keep in mind that, once again, I'm using EX Tackle, and that's because the meterless versions, just like Peter, are pretty terrible. Unlike Peter, who could only combo into the light version of Baton for meterless damage, this soldier can combo into all three versions. The problem is, as you might have noticed, you wouldn't want to, because you're minus on hit. You're even more minus on hit than Peter was. You're minus 21. This move on hit is about as minus as a lot of Shoryukens on block, although at the very least you're not counter hit punishable. That was a punish. Unlike Peter, you've actually got more than one cancelable normal. Although, you've basically only got two, standing medium punch and crouching medium punch, because crouching medium kick and standing light kick don't give enough frame advantage to combo into your one special move. This makes the fact that they're cancelable basically useless. One interesting thing about the tackles, even though it's completely impractical, is that if only the second hit connects, they have five frames less recovery.
If I remember, two-piece tackle was the exact same. This makes the normal versions minus 19 on block instead of minus 24, and the EX version minus 9 on block instead of minus 14. Unlike Peter, you can actually link two light normals. Peter needed a counter hit to do this. However, Peter did have one meterless confirm combo on the ground, and that was crouch heavy punch to light kick. This soldier has that too, but it only works on crouching opponents. Also, just like 2P, you can do down forward heavy punch for the incredibly shitty fake psycho crusher. If the opponent does a quick rise, you're minus 52 on hit. Just like 2P, it's a whopping minus 88 on block. ASY's crush counters are actually significantly worse than Peter's. You've got the universal one of sweep, which is whatever, and then you've got standing heavy punch. You don't get anything off this, you're only plus 5, and the opponent isn't in range for a standing light kick. While his crush counters are terrible, you actually get some decent normal counter hit combos. For a start, you can actually go into EX tackle off lights with a counter hit. Crouching heavy punch gets quite a lot out of counter hits. On a crouching opponent, you now get crouching medium punch instead of standing light kick, which gives you a cancel to EX tackle. If you're cornered, this will work if the opponent is standing. As for standing opponent's mid-screen, all you really get is standing medium kick. It's not great, but uh, it's something. Generally, I'd rather go for standing light punch. Also, one last thing before I move on to the next soldier. Just like 2P, standing medium kick has weirdly low pushback on block. Doesn't really matter, because it's minus one and not very fast, but it's interesting. Speaking of 2P, you might have been wondering why I never mentioned that ASY has an incredibly similar moveset to him. And the reason is, because of ASD, this character. This guy basically is 2P. He has the exact same moveset and attributes, with the exception of not having barrel catch. Shitty walk speed and shitty jump included. ASD is probably the shittiest of the soldiers, even shittier than ASY. He's also the only one that doesn't have an EX variant, which is probably because he's shit. <laughs> Despite how terrible he is, there are a few things he has over ASY. His normals do slightly more damage. His lights do 15 instead of 10. Mediums 40 instead of 30. And heavy 60 instead of 50, although his slide still does 50. His throw also does 20 more damage. Just for the record, none of the soldiers have a back throw. Or V-Skill, or V-Trigger, or V-Shift for that matter. Something he sort of has over ASY is that he has 475 health instead of 425. However, he actually has less stun, which means it's much easier to kill him off one combo. The one last thing he has over ASY is that his normals have a tiny bit less pushback, which means you get stuff like crouching heavy punch, standing light kick consistently on standing opponents. That's pretty much where the positives end, and they're not particularly great positives. The main reason this character is so much worse than ASY is because they can't combo into their only special move. This, combined with their terrible movement, kind of gives them nothing to do. It's a good thing Crouching Heavy Punch to Standing Light Kick is more consistent, because it's actually your highest damage combo. It's pretty sad. What's even sadder is that unlike ASY, your meterless tackle is knocked down. This would be great if you could combo into them, but since you can't, it basically doesn't matter. Pretty much the only way you can ever land a tackle is after a stun. And in this situation, you wouldn't really go for the meterless ones, because if you've somehow managed to stun the opponent, you've probably also built a bar, so you'd rather go for the EX tackle. The only other real difference compared to ASY is that standing heavy punch isn't a crush counter. 
Doesn't really matter, to be honest. It's not like it was any good in the first place. All the crush counter did was not make the move punishable on hit. Next is ASR, who is a mid-ranking Shadowloo soldier. Despite this, they don't have too much more going on, but there is some stuff. One of the most notable new things about this character is that they have a new special move. Quarter circle back and kick. It is a very shitty dive kick. You can't combo into any version, and they're all death on block. The light and medium versions are minus 2 and minus 3 on hit respectively, but you can make them plus with the correct spacing. You don't really get anything off that though. The heavy and EX versions always knock down on hit. I've really tried, but sadly there's no juggle, which would have been pretty cool. Heavy and EX behave the same on counter hit. But interestingly, the light version knocks down on counter hit, while the medium one still doesn't. It's pretty interesting. Speaking of spacing stuff to make it safe, ASR's sweep is significantly worse than ASY and ASD. Instead of being minus 4 point blank, it's minus 16. The safest I could make it is minus 10. On top of that, it's not a crush counter anymore. In fact, this character has no crush counters. Which is pretty wacky. As for the rest of his normals, they're mostly the same as ASD. Although his light normals do 5 extra damage. Something weird about this character's light normals is that all of them except for standing light kick can chain together. However, if you do this, then the second light normal will have less frame advantage. Standing Light Punch is probably the best example of this. It's plus 6 on hit. But if you chain it, then the second one will be plus 5 on hit. And if you delay the second one so you're not chaining it, but linking into it, then it's plus 6 again. Crouching Light Kick is also a bit weird. It's normally plus 5. And if you link into it, it's plus 3. At first, I thought all of these were links, so when I saw this character being able to combo out of his Crouching Light Punch, which is plus 4 on hit, I thought he had a 4 frame. But nope, his fastest normal is still 5 frames, it's just that he can chain his lights. Also, for some really strange reason, his meterless tackles don't knock down like ASD. This is really weird. The best meterless tackle to combo into would have been ASD's, and he's the only one of these three who can't do it. It's minus 16 on hit, the same as Peter's light baton. Just like ASY, despite the fact he has four cancelable normals, he can only combo out of two of them, standing medium punch and crouching medium punch. Just like the other two soldiers, tackles have five less recovery frames if only the second hit connects. As for his health, I think he has 550. Next, we have ASM, who is a high-ranking Shadowloo soldier. They're probably the most interesting of the four base soldiers, although their head clips through their hat for some reason, which is kind of weird. First off, just like all the other base soldiers, no 4-frame. On the bright side, we've finally got a character who can meterlessly end their combos without being minus a billion on hit. All meterless versions of Tackle Knockdown. And it's not a shitty knockdown like the fake Psycho Crusher, you're actually at frame advantage. On top of that, they have a new special move. Shoryuken and Punch is this elbow attack. Unfortunately, if the opponent quick rises, you're minus on hit. However, I'm pretty sure the light version is unpunishable with the exception of certain supers. Light leaves you minus 5, medium minus 9, heavy and EX minus 8. What's most important, though, is that it's a consistent-ish anti-air. The light version is probably the best, because none of them have invincibility until they hit, and the light version is the fastest. It's better than the other soldiers, who, so far, have to rely on meeting the opponent in the air, or some really shitty normals that tend to trade. While it's not a very good one, the EX version gives you a combo off a light confirm. While the damage is pretty bad because you're getting a late hit of the EX elbow, 
You're only minus 6 on hit instead of minus 8, and there's a lot of pushback, so you're pretty safe. On standing opponents, the heavy version does a tiny bit less damage but leaves you minus 4, but it whiffs on crouch, so it's not great. Also, just for the record, unlike most EXDPs, this EXDP is not invincible on frame 1. That's not the only great tool this character received. They also got a target combo. Light kick, medium kick, heavy kick. It's minus 2 on hit, minus 6 on block. If you just go for the second hit, it's plus 3 on hit and 0 on block. This is actually pretty nice, because there's certain situations, specifically after a standing light punch, where this is all you can get. Off a light confirm, this is your best middle ascender. That's not me trying to act like the frame advantage is more important than the damage or anything, that's genuinely all you get in that situation. The heavy kick, even on a crouching opponent, just whiffs. Something else nice about the elbow is that since it's quite fast, you can cancel into it from normals that on the other soldiers don't really combo into anything. In terms of health, we're looking at about 600. Okay, now we're going to talk about the EX versions, and these guys are pretty fucking wacky. The first notable thing about the EX version of ASY is that he doesn't share the character's incredibly weak normals. Lights and mediums do 20 more damage, heavies do 30, and sweep does 25 more. Also, he doesn't have tackle. In fact, he doesn't have any motion specials. Charge back forward and punch is fake Psycho Crusher. So yeah, they made down forward heavy punch into a special move, and it's significantly better as a special move, but it's still pretty bad. Personally, the most notable thing about this move to me is the fact that it takes an incredibly short amount of time to charge. It feels like 10 frames, maybe not even that. The charge time is so short that you can literally walk up, do a normal, and cancel that same normal into the special. Despite the fact this move is kinda cool, it unfortunately sucks, because if the opponent just quick rises the light version, which is the only one you can combo into, you're minus 18. Also, ironically, the EX soldiers have no EX moves, which means there's no good version of this move you can cancel into like the other soldiers could. If you want to end your combos, you're just stuck being minus 18 forever. On the bright side, you can combo into it from crouching medium kick. So, not only can you die on hit and block, but now you can do it from a low. One very interesting thing about this character is that all four of their heavy normals have one hit of armor on frame one. It's pretty neat. Out of all seven of the soldiers, this is the only one with a cross-up. Jump medium kick. Light and medium kick have their animation swapped. Overall, I would consider this a net positive. Light kick is a five frame button with impressive range and it makes the combo after Crouch Heavy Punch much more consistent. This character's got one more move I want to talk about, and it's super interesting. Medium Punch and Medium Kick is Charged Fake Psycho Crusher. Despite sharing the input with V-Skills, it doesn't build any V-Meter. The move is unblockable, but like, it's unblockable in the same way that a car coming at you from half a mile away would probably kill you if you actually let it get to you. Like, it takes a billion years to start up, so just screw it out of the way, you know? This move has armor, but it's very strange in how it works. It absorbs one hit just fine. But absorb two and you get guard broken. You're at massive frame disadvantage and you take massive bonus damage. One last interesting thing about this character is just how much health they have. You might have noticed that despite the fact that that did 360 damage, it looked like they didn't take much, and that's because I think they have 1,450 health. Pretty wild. 
Next, we have ASR EX, and this character has some really interesting properties that I want to get out of the way before we talk about his moveset. Just like with the EX version of ASY, this character has incredibly high health. I'm pretty sure it's 1450 again. However, he has something very interesting to balance that out. See, this guy's kind of got like reverse scaling. Normally in Street Fighter V, when you combo someone, subsequent hits will do less and less damage. But against this guy, they do more and more damage, meaning long combos will just melt him. On top of that, this guy also takes an extra 2 frames of hit stun from all normals. That's normally plus 7 on hit. This means you get some unique links against this guy that you wouldn't on any other character. That's enough about how he takes damage though. How does this guy do damage? Well, at first, you'd think he'd be pretty terrible at it because he has only one special move and it's the fucking dive kick that sucks on everyone else who has it. However, that's on everyone else who has it. This is amazing. While the other soldiers with this move had to space it incredibly precisely to make it plus on hit, this guy just has to do it to make it plus on block. He has a much easier time on hit. In fact, on block, light and medium are at worst minus three. For a dive kick, that's pretty crazy. Heavy is minus 12. But there's a very good reason why that I'll get into. The light dive kick is at worst plus 8 on hit, and the medium one is plus 7. The heavy one knocks down. Where the heavy version really shines, funnily enough, is as a combo ender. This is because it has three startup hits, and they're incredibly fast. This move comes out on, I think, frame 7. You can literally just link into it. He also has a target combo, medium kick, heavy kick. Unfortunately, it's not really great as a combo tool because medium kick combos into heavy dive kick at any range. At the very least though, it's only minus five on block. So there is that. It's a shame the combos into this aren't that practical because they look really sick. Give me kind of Street Fighter 2 vibes, it's, it's neat. On top of having great range and a neat little target combo, standing medium kick is actually frame 5. It's pretty crazy, you wouldn't expect something that good on a non-playable character. Speaking of fast normals, this guy's actually got a 4 frame. Which is pretty neat. Just like the EX version of ASY, this guy has no crush counters. Also, the dive kick doesn't launch on counter hit. One other very peculiar thing about this character is his crouch. If you hold down or down back, he crouches. But if you hold down forward, he stands up. What's especially weird is that he still has his crouching hurt box. Abigail's forward heavy punch whiffs on crouch. That's pretty much it, but I gotta say, I'm actually kind of impressed. For a basic-ass NPC character with one special move, he's actually pretty fun to mess around with, and he's got some interesting aspects like his health and reverse scaling. Lastly, we have the EX version of ASM. This guy's actually got four special moves, which is pretty crazy. He's got the tackle, the elbow, the dive kick, which is now quarter circle forward in kick, and this roll, which kind of sucks sadly, but it's something. First off, he has incredibly high health, just like the other two EX soldiers, and like the last one, he suffers from reverse scaling. However, not as much as the other guy. The last soldier took like 700 and something from that. On top of that, just like the EX version of ASR, he takes extra hit stun, although he only takes one frame instead of two, so the exact same combos won't work. Also, like the EX version of ASY, all of his specials have frame one armor. Unlike that character, however, none of his normals have armor. 
out of the three of the EX soldiers, this guy definitely has the best normals. For a start, he's actually got a three frame in Crouching Light Punch. Also, while he doesn't have the medium kick, heavy kick target combo, he can actually just naturally link it because heavy kick is frame seven. Sadly, it doesn't work at max range though. It's not very practical either way, but it's pretty neat. His sweep is insane. Not only is it much faster than all the others, I think frame 10, but it's relatively safe for how much range it has. If you can space it right, it's actually plus three on block. Although it's pretty tough to do. Aside from the, you know, fucking frame one armor on all of them, none of his specials are that crazy. Tackle is still just a combo ender. Knocks down on hit, unsafe on block. It's fast enough to combo from light, which is pretty neat. Their elbows are all significantly better than they are on the base version of the character. They've got more range, they're not minus on quick rise anymore, and they're better anti-airs because of the frame one armor. The range isn't insane or anything, so you can still get the late hit in certain combos. Or just have it not work at all. Dive kicks are a bit strange. On block, they're better than all other versions of the move. At worst, light is plus one, and medium and heavy are zero. On hit though, all versions knock down. In the corner though, you can combo into elbow, which is pretty nice. The roll is a bit strange. It's pretty much just a defensive option, and to be fair, it's a good one because of the frame one armor. You can actually cancel the end lag of it into any of your specials. I don't think this is practical in any way, but it's pretty neat. For the record though, while it does have armor, it's not immune to throws. So there we go, we've had a look at all seven of the non-playable soldiers in Street Fighter V. Honestly, these guys are pretty interesting. I don't know if I'd consider them more or less interesting than the dolls, but uh, I'd have to think about it. However, you don't have to think about it, because if you're on PC, you can check this mod out for yourself. I'll make sure to link it in the description. So yeah, that's that. Hope you enjoyed. Also, one little other thing. I now have a second channel. I, I don't particularly like plugging in fighting game gold or fighting game garbage, but uh, yeah, it exists. You can follow it if you want. I'll leave it in the description.